Hey, what's going on guys? It's Keo Dykin. So I'm here bringing you some of the best arcade locations in all of Southern California. Last time it was Prime Arcades. Today I bring you to an extraordinary arcade located here in San Bernardino, California. Let's go in, check it out. You know what time it is. Let's get into it. So I want to give you guys a quick tour of the place before we really get deep into things. Uh, I've had this place on my Instagram uh, friends list for quite some time. I believe this location has been in business now since May of last year. And it's a pretty cool place. In fact, you know, you'd be surprised as to what's around you. I wasn't really expecting them uh, to be as local as they were. In fact, if you guys aren't familiar with where San Bernardino is, it's about an hour uh, from Los Angeles, about another 45 minutes or so from Micro Center. Not too far away from Captain's Arcade, so if you guys are anywhere near Anaheim or SoCal area, uh, it's pretty easy to access this place. Not a lot of traffic around. But um, yeah, I was really surprised to find out that this place was uh, local uh, from me. And uh, they are decked out. I mean, I'm honestly surprised and really happy with the selection of games they have here. They have games from the 80s, the 90s, and even uh, they have an Xbox and Nintendo Switch station for some of the kids. But um, they also have some pinballs, you guys can see. But again, they have a nice collection of robust games here. They got yeah, NBA uh, Hang Time. They also have NFL Blitz. Now, he is looking for some more arcade machines. Um, I know Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and several others are on his radar. But I was just glad to be able to get over here uh, to this location and finally check it out. Uh, the prices are really reasonable, and it's a great family atmosphere. You know, it's also good to know that locations like this are still open. In fact, I wasn't sure uh, how many arcades would go out of business or if people would even be interested in starting up uh, an arcade ever since uh, COVID and the whole social distancing thing, uh, how that would take into effect and account for uh, arcades. But you see, we got Superman, we got Tekken Tag. Uh, this is also a great location if anybody is looking to sponsor tournaments here. Uh, they do have Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, I'm sure we could get tournaments with uh, some of the other console games, but if you guys are looking to host something, I'm sure they would be interested in doing so. And see, a place like this definitely reminds me of my childhood. You know, none of these stupid machines with uh, payout tickets and stuff. You know, that's for little kids. I love coin operated machines uh, everything is already set up here on free play uh, you could pay the allotment at the door you get I think it's like 10 or 20 bucks uh, we'll talk to one of the owners or runners here in a few minutes and get clarification and better understanding of how things work here but I just wanted to show off all the local calves they have here they got some of the good ones uh, the Simpsons and several others uh, but again they are interested in getting some more arcade machines I did talk to them about the new uh, remastered Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, that you typically see like at Dave & Buster's or some of the places, but uh, they don't make those anymore, but, anymore, but those are on their radar. But um, I did get a chance to play the majority of the machines here, and I am impressed in, to say that all the buttons work. I didn't have any issues with any of the track balls, any of the buttons. Uh, the, obviously, we're playing on authentic arcade equipment. Everything sounds good. Uh, the buttons worked on all the light guns. You can see we got Final Fight here. 
everything is on free play. You don't have to bring any coins or anything like that. You just pay at the door and you're pretty much good to go. But again, it is good to see places like this, you know, for our hobby. I'm glad we do have uh, this uh, in the community to help our hobby and uh, still pique our interest. In fact, you know, a lot of kids uh, that we have now didn't get a chance to experience the real arcade experience. And you have companies out there making modified ROMs and stuff. And that, does, that doesn't do it justice. You know, you want the actual true arcade experience. You don't want anything hacked or modified. You want to play your childhood dreams and things that you definitely remember. And uh, this is one of their latest, latest pickups. Star Wars Trilogy unit that I know a lot of you uh, really covet. All right, guys, I'm here at Extraordinary Arcade located here in San Bernardino, California. I'm here with one of the owners. Uh, his name is Mike. He is the brother of one of the owners. Uh, Mike, how are you today, man? I'm good, bro. Good, so uh, I know it's a little bit loud in here, but can you tell us a little bit about the place? How long you guys been open here? Uh, we opened in May 7th of uh, 2022. And uh, like how many arcades do you guys have in here right now? Uh, we have about 62, I believe it's 62 or 64. Okay. And uh, tell me a little bit about your prices. Like how much is it to play some of the games right now? It's $10 for an hour. Or it's uh, $15 the all day price. And that's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday and Sunday, it's $20 an hour. I mean $20 all day. And $10 an uh, hour. Oh, I mean, you guys have a, a good mixture of games here. Like, how do you guys select which games you're going to keep in here? Uh, well, me and my brother, we grew up on video games. So it's like, we tried starting off all retro from back in the day, the 70s, 80s, and so on. But we had to make it more compatible for the young generation to come in here. So it's like we had to get newer games. So um, whatever games no one's really playing that much, we swap them out. We'll take them home and bring over another game. And uh, so far, so good. It's, we got the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox, the kids love that. So, so far, so good, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I saw the Xbox over there, uh, the Nintendo Switch. But, uh, you know, this is a really good atmosphere. I mean, you, it's very hard to find arcades now. So what are your guys' goals in the future? To expand, open up more of these things, man. Like, in about another six months, we should be on the road to possibly opening up another one. Are you going to keep it local here or maybe another city or something like that? We want to go to Riverside also. Uh, if this is doing really good out here, come um, about another year and a half, then we're going to move it to Riverside. But if, if it's doing really good here, then we're going to keep it here. You know, but we also like to get one from Riverside. Well, that's good, man. All right, well, we're going to walk around, play some games to give uh, the subscribers here a showcase. But uh, thanks for inviting me down here, man. Everything is pretty cool. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. All right, everyone, that about wraps it up for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed the extended footage. I definitely just wanted to showcase this place and let all of my subscribers and followers and all of my, the arcade and retro gaming communities know where this place is. Uh, again, it's a family-friendly place. They got light gun games. They got Centipede. They got Millipede. Uh, they have Xbox. They also have Nintendo Switch. I'm sure whoever's in your party, whoever's in your family would love uh, to make a trip down here. And if you are in SoCal, you know, keep in mind that this place is around a lot of other locations. You do have Disneyland, uh, Captain's Arcade, you do have uh, Knott's Berry Farm, Magic Mountain, SeaWorld, Worlds in San Diego. But if you guys are making a trip, you do want to visit a location, you can also put this on the map. Uh, but the guys are here are friendly and uh, it's really uh, cost effective. I mean, it's not, you know, too much. In fact, I used to spend about $5.00 on one arcade machine back in the day. So paying $10 or $20, honestly, that's not much compared to what you are getting and they are adding new games. But hope you guys enjoyed this channel. Consider liking and subscribing. And till next time, catch you later. Peace. Accelerate to attack speed.